all the students here are in a physics class and um, we are asked by Mr. O'Connor Mr. Wooder to help out on this day. I think that they are getting a real unique perspective of the affordability crisis in San Francisco because um, a lot of people are talking about the crisis and but very few are, are rolling up their sleeves literally and, um, and, and trying to provide a solution. Uh, what these young people are able to do today is to bridge the idea of the crisis with a concrete solution and what they're building today is going to be affordable housing for workers in the city and county of San Francisco who otherwise would probably be displaced. So I think in uh, regards to physics we're, le we're learning about motion and force so a lot of this can relate to hammering a nail into a wall and how you have to apply enough force to get the nail through the wood. And so that's how it would probably relate to physics. So, so far I've been working with uh, Connor King Roberts uh, installing copper pipes uh, throughout the house to make sure that the water can run smoothly. I was actually working with Mr. Woodard and um, he was asking me all these questions like what's the PSI and all this and um, things that directly um, were related to our physics class, which was kind of cool to see. We look at the boys at Stuart Hall, not as the future of the interfaith movement, but as the present. Um, what they are being taught and the critical thinking that they're being taught and the sensitivity uh, to people of different faiths uh, is, is really the model that needs to be replicated throughout the city. We're nailing uh, guardrails up on the top floor, so that way walls could be put up for the next group that's coming in. And so basically we were preparing the guardrails and uh, just now before lunch we started preparing the frame that will be eventually put up once we leave today. Well I think it's great that uh, we're making affordable housing for people who are just struggling a little bit and just need some, somewhere to stay. It's great to get some families to stay in these houses hopefully in a few years. So I think it's hard to see how such a small thing could help them so much but it really can. Just that. Just putting up the guardrail and setting up the frame for a fence is already allowing another group to be farther ahead in their project. And it's just really amazing to see like how such small work can then lead to a whole house being built.